Prost. Next morning, let's see what kind of a disaster this is going to be here. extra point. Too bad on the squeeze out. At least the stuff I can get with the chisel here. Hey, there goes my phone. It's probably be a really good time to talk about personal protective equipment such as uh, squints which I should probably be wearing right now alright, well that's not too bad now it is not and let's do this alright, up here in uh, hey, there we go in this area, you can see I'm misaligned here. A skosh. It's actually not too bad. And I'm out. The skosh there. Tiny bit there. And a skosh there. Now, how much am I going to beat myself up? about this. Eh, not too bad. Because this is, after all, a learning process. Um, we'll get the hot rag out and uh, get the glue off the surface and then uh, we're going to press on. Alright. I have cleaned up my hot glue mess which I gotta tell you I, after using it just like this one little time um, I'm kinda digging the hot hide glue um, yeah I am so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna actually put uh, the tailpiece back on using the original flat bladed screws they're they're round head screws, but they take a flat flat head if that makes any sense. Gotta love flat headed screws. I mean you don't have to, but because I don't, I hate them. And the nice soft metal that they make these screws out of. Alright, there we go. And then once the strings are on, this slips over the end, like so. There we go. Now, um, 
let's get to the fun part because when we disassembled this we had a horrible horrible and I mean horrible gap our action was like horrendous <sighs> screw clamp Okay, so we're already seeing some interestingness because I am now, am I bottomed out? I'm almost bottomed out. Let's, let's tap it hard here. That's down, that's down. Now, let's, can we see this? We've got a, there's still a, there's a gap here. And I can fit that under. And if I remember correctly, it may have been glued down. Which brings us to some thinking. Because if this is where this is supposed to go approximately, what are we doing on our neck angle? Actually, that is not bad there. That might not be bad. So I think this in and of itself is going to help us. Um, we don't have we don't have a screw underneath here holding the top on. We don't have a screw holding the back on top or bottom, which means this is all now one piece. And that brace is not loose. Tone bar, sorry. Yeah, we're not loose at all there. So, do we glue it? Yeah, we're going to glue it. I wasn't planning on gluing it, but we're going we're gonna to glue it. And if we have to, if we have to lower our bridge, that's okay. If we have to raise our bridge, that's okay because we'll make a new one. Because um, that's just kind of the way I feel today. Wow, this is rough. Anyways, all right. Um, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the glue stuff hot up and ready. And oh, it's lunchtime, so uh, let's have some lunch. Oh, it can't be that time, can it? No. Holy crap! Gluing. Stand by. All right. Let the panicking commence.
yet again. All right, there we go. Been a while since we've seen that. We'll check back tomorrow. Hey folks, thanks for watching the train wreck. We appreciate you being along for the ride. Make sure you like Rattle Can Guitar Restorations over on the Facebook, the Twitter, as well as the Instagram. If you haven't done so, go ahead and like us over on the YouTubes. We're posting new videos every Wednesday, and you never know what you're going to see around here. Thanks again for watching, folks. Have a good one.